oh i can't even express how hot it is right now it's literally roasting hot outside and i'm sat here with my windows closed my doors closed and the sun beaming into my bedroom oh. hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be filming a big spring slash summer haul there are a few things in here which are probably a bit too warm to wear at the minute but I got these things well I've been sort of adding over a course of a few weeks so when I bought some of these things it was pretty cold so without any further ado let's get into the video so the first thing that I picked up was this blouse from Topshop and also ignore the coat hangers they don't have any relevance to the actual thing so yeah I've just put on um, whatever coat hanger there was in my wardrobe now this blouse I guess it's sort of a blouse or a shirt one or the other it is white and it has I don't know whether you can see that in the camera it has little black flowers all over it and this material that it's made out of isn't like you know the shiny material that some blouses are made out of it's I don't know how to describe it it's not shiny it's sort of matte and it's really nice it's quite thin so quite see-through so I usually wear a little vest top underneath and I've been wearing this quite a lot recently uh, I've been wearing it with a little black skater skirt or with just my black skinny jeans and I really like it. It's also got these little black buttons that go all the way down, but you don't see them because it's got a little how can I sh there, a little cover that folds over the buttons. So when you've done it up, the cover folds over them. But yes, I thought this was very pretty, and I got this from Topshop, and it was thirty six pounds, which isn't too bad for Topshop considering a lot of the things in Topshop are quite expensive. And I really like it. It looks so pretty. And I just think that now it's getting a bit warmer. I probably won't wear it as much as I have been. But um, as it gets into autumn time, this will look super cute with a little coat thrown over it. And yeah, I really like it. So the next shop that I went to was River Island. Needless to say, I had a bit of a splurge in there. Now, oh things just fell off the hanger. Now River Island is not the cheapest of high street stores. It does have quite expensive things in there but you can also get some good bargains that are really pretty and not too much money. And the first thing that I saw as soon as I walked in the door and fell in love with it was this jumper. Now it's like a khaki khaki colour and it's crocheted so it's very see-through. You do have to wear something under this it comes down to just about my bum it looks quite long in the camera but it's not actually that long and on the back whoa, it just fell off the hanger again right who needs hangers we'll do this without that hanger right there we go on the back it's got a big hole and it has oops let me get the other one a little bow which connects like the hole and tassels on the ends of the bow which are quite long they go quite far down your back and I've just been wearing this again with my black skinny jeans and with usually a black vest top underneath or I guess you could wear a khaki coloured vest top as well and again this is now the weather has all of a sudden warmed up this is way too warm to um, thingy wear now but in the spring when I did get it, it was perfect and I just slung this on, that's not the right word is it, what's it, I just put this on uh, whenever I wanted to be cosy and also let me grab this necklace, this necklace if you want to jazz it up a bit I usually put this necklace on with it which I got from Accessorize in case you were wondering quite a while ago, whoops let me put it back, there we go so this can be worn up or down and I love it, it's so soft, it's just a really cosy item of clothing, it's super cosy and super soft and I love it. So when I was walking towards the changing rooms in River Island to try on some of the bits that I got, 
uh, I spotted, spotted, no, spotted this baby pink cami and it's got a lace up back crisscross which adds something extra but the only thing is with this is that it comes very low so if you don't have the biggest of boobs um, it comes really low <laughs> so I think like the next thing I'm going to have to tack it with my sewing machine just to make sure that it comes up and it doesn't show a bit too much. Now this cami was from, Riv oh I forgot to tell you how much this was. This jumper, this green one, was also £36 from River Island and this was £14 which for River Island is really cheap because you won't find many things in River Island. Oops, whose phone was that? Someone's phone, I don't know. Uh, you won't find many things in River Island that is £14. So it's really flowy and super pretty. I think this will be perfect just whack on with either a white pair of jeans or some white shorts or some um, denim shorts. I just feel like this is very versatile and you can wear it with lots of things. Uh, it's super lightweight. Like I don't even realise I'm holding it so it won't be too hot. Uh, they also had this in loads of different colours. I know they had it in orange, white, black, yellow. I'm trying to think of any other colours. Um, I don't know. If you go on the River Island website they'll show you all the colours they have and I think that I'm going to get another colour in this just because it's really pretty and I really like it a lot. So the final thing that I picked up from River Island might just be my favourite thing and it is, oh I've got it upside down, this long Aztec t-shirt which you can use as a dress. Um, now when I tried this on I'm just going to say that if you do go into the store and you're thinking about getting one of these, um, get either one or two sizes bigger than you are if you're tall like me. I'm five foot seven and um, I had to get a size, what's this? Size eight I think it is, yeah. Size eight, whereas I usually wear a six. Um, so this is in a size eight only because, I don't know whether you can see, I'm trying to find the little gap. Here it is, right. Now this has a massive slit in the side and with my sewing machine, because even in an 8 it was way too short, it showed my knickers, which isn't a great look. Uh, it goes all the way from up here, the slit, all the way down here. Look how big that is. And so I got, with my sewing machine, I just stitched it all the way to a reasonable length. And with this, you get this cute little belt, which has some tassels on the end. And has... A little what's this like a little metal thing I don't think it's it's plastic though and yeah I really like it it's quite heavy so I feel like it could it's quite warm if you wore it but I usually roll up the sleeves to about three quarter lengths oh my I've just realized that I still have my bandage on from the hospital right let me take that off and I'll get straight back with you Right, I'm back with a really weird print on my arm, so if you can see it, just try to ignore it. I don't know what it is, it's just from the tape. So, where was I? What was I talking about? Um, yes, this has blue Aztec stripes on it all the way down, and it's quite heavy, that's what I was saying, so it's really warm, but it is really short. Like, if I stand up, you're not going to be able to see my head. But I'll put this on my shoulders like it would. I'll stand on my stool. So it comes down quite short. So uh, it, if you wear bare legs, it keeps you quite cool because of that. And I roll up the sleeves to three quarter lengths so that it's cool as well. And also this buttons down all the way down to the bottom. If I show you with these little silver shiny buttons. And yeah, I really love this. I've already wore this about four times and I've only had it a couple of weeks. I am literally in love with it. 
it is super cute and I don't know I just really like long shirts and I feel like the belt adds just something a little bit extra so yeah I really like this oh also did I tell you I'm really bad at telling you how much things are aren't I right this was oh wait I forgot let me check so this is £13, also from River Island, which again isn't too bad considering how much material there is and I feel like places like Topshop and stuff sell ones for about that price as well. So if you're looking for a normal shirt which doesn't have this Aztec design on, pretty sure I saw one in River Island as well but I'm 100% sure I know that Topshop do one just like this but just plain white. So if you don't like the Aztec stripes, I know that Topshop do one just plain white. So a few days after that, I went into town with my mum looking for a bag. Now I literally have searched high and low for a bag that I really wanted as I just wanted a plain black bag that didn't really have anything on it and would just go with basically everything. But I looked in New Look and places like that and they just had black ones with either white prints on them or different colours on them until I went to Primark and I picked up this black bag and on the front it has like, I don't know whether this is crocodile or snake skin, like an effect, let me see if you can see it, can you see that? I think you can, with um, a what's, uh, thingy my words come out a gold bar where little pocket I don't really put anything in there as I feel like it's not really big enough to carry anything substantial and it also has little accents of gold in little studs and then the rings of the handles so this is in black faux leather and it was um, only £10 which is amazing and I know that Primark do stuff really cheap and usually, I'm going to be honest, it's not probably the greatest quality and I think you all know that but this feels really substantial and like it will, you know, last for a while so inside you have <laughs> I'm going to show you but it's already full of all my stuff if I can show you so inside there is uh, one big pocket zip pocket where I usually put my phone and I have a mirror in there and then it has some little loose pockets on this side here it's all black so you can't, you can't really see but some loose pockets in there and then one massive compartment which holds my umbrella, my purse, my hand cream, some sweets, <laughs> all the essentials. Um, so this was a great purchase because I've been looking for flipping ages for a bag and when I go into Primark I see one straight away. So this is probably one of my favourite things that I got and I just love how it's like ruched at the sides. Oh, It's so pretty and amazing because it's so big. After going in Primark I then went in Boots and picked up another Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge. Now if you haven't tried one of these and you find that putting foundation on with just a brush doesn't really work for you, I would highly recommend you getting one of these. Um, I've had, uh, I've lost count of how many of these I've had but they last for ages. I've only got a new one because um, my old one got really grubby and it got to a stage where even if I cleaned it, there were still stains on it and stuff. Now in um, Boots, it was on offer. Now I can't remember whether it was buy one get one free or buy one get one half price. I'm pretty sure it was buy one get one half price. But anyway, I picked up two of these one of which I'm already using so it's already really dirty but I thought I'd show you the clean one um, this was only 5 99 which considering the beauty blender is like four times this much it's really great quality and I don't know I just recommend you getting one of these and besides it was only 5 99 and a brush costs about three times as much as that and I feel like this gives 
a greater finish than a brush. So after I've heard so many people raving about this foundation, I thought I would pick it up and give it a try. And it is the Revlon Colour Stay uh, Normal to Dry Foundation. And it has SPF of 20 in it. Now I picked this up from Boots for, let me check, I can't remember, I've just had it in my head and I forgot. $9.99 so I picked this up in Boots for $9.99 and I'm pretty sure it's that price everywhere else and I know a lot of people are really happy about it having a pump I didn't know it without a pump so it doesn't really make much difference to me but I'm glad it has a pump because I can imagine it's much trickier to get out without one now uh, I thought I'd buy this because I've been using the Rimmel 25 hour foundation the one with the red cap and it's very full coverage, like you only need the tiniest bit and it completely blocks out your face. And I thought as we're going into summer, I kind of wanted something that didn't have as much coverage. It might like ignore the really dirty lid, it's gross, but I've been using this for a while. And so I thought for summer, I don't really want anything that's as, co like, as high coverage, that's what I'm trying to say. So uh, I thought I'd give this a go and as it has SPF of 20 in, that would be really good because I'm allergic to sun cream, fun fact. So I can't put sun cream straight on my face. So this will be really good because I know it suits my skin and it has SPF of 20 which is better than nothing. So yeah, it's great and I really like it so far. I've only been using it for a while but so far I'll give it a thumbs up. That is everything that I bought, um, I hope that you liked this video, I'm really sorry it probably wasn't as long as some other of my videos but this weekend I am going to the seaside, um, to Brixham, I don't know whether any of you know where that is, it's right down the bottom of the UK, uh, it's my mum's friend's birthday so she's having a massive party on the beach and we're going. Uh, so I wasn't sure whether there'd be any Wi-Fi to upload my videos so I thought I'd film it now, upload it now, so at least you have a video for this week. Don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe. I love you all very much. Bye!